Alrighty. Well, you guys might recognize this thing. I think, yeah, we've made a video about this, but, you know, I haven't touched it since then because it blown a head gasket, a blue head gasket, and I pretty much threw in the towel because I couldn't find another head gasket. Found some head gaskets, so I bought some, and yeah, I'll show you what we're working on. The old Jacobson. So I dug this back out of storage, turn my AC down, and we actually got this freed up. If you guys didn't remember, this was that was seized up, and a little bit of a, a burp gun. Uh, we just pretty much just bumped it right here on this lip, and it didn't take much, and it freed it right up. And I put some PB Blaster on it overnight, and it moves like it's brand new. There's hardly any slop in it, so I know everything down there is nice and tight. But I pulled the head off because I knew the head gasket was blown, and that's where it blew. So I ordered a new head gasket and exhaust gasket because this is not even there, half of it's there but I ordered a new one of those. So that's gonna be all new and hopefully it builds up the compression a little bit more. And uh, yeah. And I went ahead and ordered a new throttle cable as well. So that's gonna be all nice and new. So if we can get this thing running and driving, um, I wouldn't, you know, and you know, mow a little bit of grass with it. Um, I wouldn't mind this winter restoring this. Um, I think it would be pretty neat. Um, parts are really available for this thing, so I wouldn't mind, you know, tearing it apart and, you know, just going through it, getting bearings and stuff and, you know, new chains and, you know, just repaint it and make it look fresh. But you know what that means? We're going to have two restoration projects, so I, I don't know. But I'm definitely going to keep it over here this winter just so I can start it up every once in a while and, you know, keep it, keep it going. Because I had to go through the carburetor and it wouldn't surprise me why it didn't want to stay running because the inside of that carburetor was disgusting. Um, it was just varnish and old oil and stuff from the gas tank and stuff. So went ahead, went through that, cleaned it out, threw it back on already. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of, you know, do a little video of this just so we can, you know, start diving back into it. So I'm not just saying, hey look, it runs and drives now. So. I'm not like that so this is so yeah and I will figure out why my phone's cutting in and out and why I have to you know keep starting these videos back up but yeah so this is part one of the uh, revival I would say from last November is when I actually messed with this thing so this is part one so leave a like and if you're new subscribe so I'll see you guys in part two.